Good morning, class. How are you? God bless all of you guys. We should pray to God all days so we can keep our mind to focus on our purpose of life. We still have hope to survive and continue our life to be better life. We should keep our humanity and do everything that we can do for human being. For example, we can share each other everything that we have such as our time, keep charity, support our spirit for someone else so we can pass the challenge from the coronavirus or COVID-19. I salute to all doctors, nurses, and medical team who stand in front line of for us. So keep your healthy and please stay at home. As a student who live in a golden era, with you can access some technology that help you to learn all subjects that you get in the formal school and you guys have so many energy and power to survive so stop complain for unnecessary thing learn more and get more especially all you need is to develop your life skill and the ability to filter the information or choose the good information that's suitable on you, your talent, and your need for your life. But it never make you disobey the rules that we have nowadays, such as the rule from the government or other rules from your parents. I trust all of you guys will do the best that you can do. Now, I would like to give one example about a book review with the lesson plan have been shared two days ago at April 14, 2020. This is just one example that you can follow or maybe you can read the good example from internet. The title of book that I'm going to review is Copycat Marketing 101 How to Copycat Will We to Wealth by Buck Edges. This is the book. Before I try to review this book, let me to introduce myself. I'm an English teacher, a blog writer, and a translator. Today, I would like to make a book review about Copycat Marketing 101, How to Copycat Your Way to Wealth. I know I'm not a perfect teacher, but I try the best that I can do. The reason I, why I give this topic or theme because I am really want all of my students have curiosity to read book because we know that Indonesia still have low grade in literacy or reading any kinds of book. I'm sure after I give this example, all of you guys will make a book review better than me. It doesn't mean that I don't feel confident, but in my mind, sometimes someone who copy someone else's idea will make the better work than just thinking a new idea. This statement is related with the book that I will review now. Do you know guys, after I read this book, I felt amazing to this book because this book gave me a new perspective about life. In this book, 
we can found that money is important, but time and freedom is more than money that you can learn daily. Time and freedom is everything because if you have time and freedom, you can do everything that make you reach your happiness in your life. Now, let's talk about the author of this book. His name is Buck Edges. He is an entrepreneur, world-renowned author, trainer, teacher, and motivational speaker. He has been delivering his message throughout speeches, spinner, and books to millions of people around the world. His book have sold out more than 4 million copies. Well, how about the summary of this book? Life is too short for someone who never take a risk in his life. Life has many chances when we try to open another door to get something new to learn. We can see many success people because they're brave to challenge is help to do something better because when you follow the ordinary life so your life will be boring and flat when we are trapped in an endless circle of frustration so we develop the negative thinking and less hope it will make us fall down and drown to desperate life this book tells us to move on the way, the new way of thinking, where we usually spend our time to do a boring job, an endless job that drop our time with family and our freedom. To do what thing that we like to do just because we want to survive, to get more money for our family and to get well. Because actually when we think smartly and when we work smartly and efficiently, we can create well as soon as possible and we can save our time for our family and we get our freedom. Well, now we try to discuss every chapter in this book. In a chapter 1, the title is, We Live in a World of Copycats. It is interesting title that make me eager to read more. Because actually, I'm really hurt or disappointed when my students cheating in the test that I meet. But after I read this book, I understand what kind of copycat belong to this book. Do you realize that since we were born until now, we always copy or imitate someone else? When we were born, we live with our family or our parents. We always copy or imitate our father, mother, brother, and also our grandfather and grandmother. Then when we go to school to learn about something from our teacher, we imitate or copy the way of our teacher to read or to count or to learn some skills. We always do the same thing until now. We always copy our community and our environment. We copycat everything else in our life, don't we? We copycat everything else in our life, but why haven't we found a way to copycat creating through well? Each of us blessed with certain talents and gifts that make us unique person or individual person. Some people is a great dancer, a good singer, a great athlete, or good leader. Nobody has the same talents, but the one thing that every one of us has without exception is copycatting. Do you know how good we are at copycatting? We are all good in copycatting. We are genius copycat. It is like the statement in this book that I like, people see, people do. Amazing. That work.
is work in my life. We are back to the question, why haven't we found a way to copycat creating well? When we are the son of farmer, teacher, doctor, lawyer, police, or manager, so most of us continue our father and our mother job as a farmer, teacher, doctor, lawyer, police, or manager. All of us do the same thing because we want to stay in a comfort zone or without a big risk when we try another job that different with our family. One thing that you should remember, there is a bad side of copycatting. Sometimes it makes us lazy to do something different or make the system that we copy or imitate better than before. Actually, when we want to copy or imitate something, it is important to think before you copycat or make it perfect. That's exactly what happened when we take a job without really thinking about why we took a job. Since a long time ago, we always assume that jobs are the best way to create wealth. When in fact, job does the, doesn't create true wealth because just temporary income. This statement encouraged me to read the next chapter. The title of the second chapter is, What is the True Wealth? According to the writer, wealth is having enough money and in enough time to do what you want, when you want. True wealth is freedom, freedom to do something or choose something. Most people think true wealth is having lots of money so we can buy material things but actually true wealth isn't much about having more things but having more time to do what you want to do. Let's think about it slowly. When we are old and gray, live in our house and all of our family leave us, what are we most likely to regret? Not buying a more expensive house or not spending more time with family. What are you most likely to regret? Not working hard to get promotion or not spending more time with your parents and your friends when they needed you. Time is our precious thing, more than a gold, because it never come back to you when it is gone. If you get a job just because of money, so your time just for money trap, with its endless treadmill. When we stop working, so the income will be stopped. We should go for a job whether we don't want it. That is like nightmare for us. So what I should do? To the money trap or temporary income that rob our time or freedom. According to this book, we can develop residual income. Residual income keep earning money whether you retire from your job. If we want to have residual income, we should saving our 10% of income or more than 10% monthly in our saving account and invest it wisely years by years so we should not work so hard and keep our freedom and our time for our family because we still have income even though we never get a job according to this book time is money but not all of people have the same amount of money Obviously, all people have the same amount of time, whether it's rich people or poor people. We have 24 hours in a day, 168 hours in a week, and 670 hours in a month, and 8,064 hours in a year. Actually, this book is not about investing our money to create wealth. It is about investing our time to create wealth because time equals with money. When you invest it properly, 
the key to well creation is not creating more time because this is impossible time is belong to god himself the key is take full advantage for the time we have wouldn't you agree according to this book we are copying the wrong system or wrong plan because we aren't aware of the well building model to copy we copy what everyone else generally do we do what most people do and as the result we get most people get so what is the good system or the good plan that we should copy get this question in my mind make me to read the next step In this chapter, we read that we will try to leap up the system for income creation because it is based on the linear growth. It is meant that we get what we put in, nothing more and nothing less. According to this book, we can break the time for money trap with leverage. Leverage is financial strategy to create wealth. We can leverage our time and our talent through the people around us. For example, a manager who leverage his time and his talent through his influence. Instead of getting paid 100% of his singular effort, he getting a percentage from all his influence effort that's why leverage is so powerful that you can earn a little bit from the efforts of whole bunch of people in my opinion it is like the ability of leadership which we try to lead someone else to follow our instruction or do the task spiritly so we can just spend little effort to get the more result The other example is when we sell something in a low price to many people so we get profit based on the amount of people who bought our products. By copying the right kind of leverage in the right situation, we can move mountains and can mix millions. The question is, what system of wealth creation do you want to copy cats? This question drive me to the next chapter in a chapter 4 this book discuss about working smarter not harder using leverage grow I'm really inspired by the quote in this book which states it is not enough to be busy so are, so are the ends the question is what are we busy about In my opinion, when we want to do something, we should prepare for anything to make our work effective and efficient. And make sure we spend little effort to get big result or wide result. The root word of leverage is lever, which comes from an old French word's meaning to make lighter. The power of leverage is to increase productivity by maximizing time, effort, and money. We can develop our networking or relation to make our dream come true. We can sell our job to someone else by hire them or teach them to copycat us and many people will be survived than do by ourselves alone. This chapter begins with the quote, If you want to get rich, just find someone making lots of money and do what it is doing. This book suggests us to save our income only and add the amount in every month and we will get surprised. After some years, we get much of money and we can spend to our retirement or to help people around us for our family. 
This dream is come true when we always discipline and wise to save and use our money. It's mean that we promise to ourselves that we never touch our saving account for the time that you have plans. That is one example of compounding interest to create exponential growth or explosive growth or doubling concept. With compounding, your money is working for you, even when you are not working. The question is, how can we create wealth through exponential, exponential growth without having to invest thousand dollars? The answer is using the concept or the system of network marketing. It is true that most people in this world don't have much money, but one thing that we have is time. It means that we can invest it our time to something useful and get benefit to our life in the future. You at the time for learn or read some knowledge that benefit to your skill and talents. You add amount of time day by day in several years until in some years you will get surprised how talented you are and you are ready to create your wealth. In chapter 6, tell us about collaboration or synergism between something to something else. I have practiced it and I am sure this works obviously. When we want to make a project in the classroom, I ask my student to make a group. I give them one challenge and I give them opportunity to discuss it. When I give them the deadline for the project with some rewards and punishment, all group make me amazed. They do more than my expectation as the teacher. My task just give to support and motivation and my student is key of my success. So I agree with this book. Collaboration and synergism is very important to make something good become a great thing. The secret to successful synergism is to create an entirely new product or service by combining two unrelated content, concepts or products. Network marketing is the ultimate synergism. Network mas- marketing is the ability to develop the network for marketing or sell your product by collaboration, cooperation, or synergism. This system is very important to us, so we should copycat it. This is the last chapter that I'm writing for. The last chapter is chapter 7. I'm really eager to know about the network marketing system that I call as ultimate copycat system. To understand this chapter, I try to make a summary or short assumption based on the previous chapter. At the first chapter until chapter 3, this book has had assumption that we follow the wrong copycat system because we just have linear growth. In the chapter 4, the writer introduced us to the new system of leverage growth, so we invited to work smarter but not harder. In this chapter, the writer gives some example to get leverage, grow by leverage the talents and time and join franchising to some company that had been success as duplication system. In chapter 5, the writer tells us about exponex, exponential growth or explosion growth or doubling concept by using compounding interest. In chapter 6, the writer asks us to do collaboration, cooperation, and synergism. And the last chapter is network marketing as the ultimate copycat system. Why this is called as ultimate copycat system or ultimate synergism? 
because this it combined the best from concept of franchising with the best from concept of exponential growth. The power of exponential growth is the views you can put your money to work for you that you can double and redouble. With compounding, your money is working for you, even though you are sleeping. But there are two challenges to traditional compounding. The first, to invest the money, which we must have extra money left over after we pay our bills. The second, growing our money through compounding takes me a lot of time, more than seven years. But thanks to the network marketing system, answer it with a better system, which today there is a franchise type system that enable us to create well and freedom exponentially in a month and year instead of a decades. But instead of spending hundreds of thousand dollars to start a franchise, you only need to invest hundreds of dollars to start your network marketing franchise. That's why some experts call it as a people franchise or alternative franchise. After I review all chapter of this book, I feel satisfied to this book, but I still confused for the last chapter. I mean, the writer give less explanation about network marketing system with a real example in our daily life. But for all, I think this book is suitable for you that want to invest your time to get well and to get your freedom. Freedom from deaths, freedom to choose anything that you like it. Freedom from stress, freedom to make a decision for your life, freedom to spend your time wisely, and freedom to protect and support your family. That's all about my book review of Coffee Cat Marketing 101. Thanks for your attention. I still wait your book review. Make sure all of you guys make the best that you can. See you for the next class. Keep healthy and stay at home. Have a nice day.